Uh, a Falcon f favored matchup, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure DK just bodies him. I'm I'm sorry, Lyft. He's not sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Look at that shit. Like, it's not even legible. Look at this. Fuck, what's that? I like how you're just always on here, dude. You've never, you've never left commentating. I actually really like commentating. Yeah, it's pretty good. You just like... I mean, like, listen to it back and like, oh, this is fucking awful. Oh, I already know it's fucking awful. That's why I don't listen to it. The only good commentary I've ever done is when I commentated with Josh. Because we just made fun of each other for like two hours. And we ate fuzzy peaches and pretended they were like sexual because peach had a bush or something like that. Nah, man. Peach is things At least out of all the Alright. <laughs> That's not how you say that word, dude. That's not I have even... an accent. That's my experience. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so this matchup Fox wins. Fox wins. Fox wins. Up, up. I remember the days that Matthew Dick played Game Launch. Like everyone hated Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why, dude. Game Watch is like kinda cancerous, but he's not. He's just, he's just got like free auto combos. So that was on the day he's, that no one knew how to so, on. He has auto combos on everyone. The annoying part about Game and Watch is his hitboxes that last forever. Yeah, no, I, I hate his throws more. Are like the backer and the throws. As like, soon as I switch to it's, the it's the it's the it's the it's the long lingering hitboxes that are hard. Um, Game Watch struggles super hard with like disjointed hitboxes. Um, so like, not so much Ike, but Marth. Roy, oh, yeah, no. Ganon, all good against, uh, all good against Game & Watch. Yeah, and then Fox, who can, like, just run around his laggy hitboxes. Yeah, his down tilt is dumb. Especially as it, against a spacey, too, because it combos into everything. That was... That was very interesting. He's dead, right? That was a good DI. He should have died there. Goodbye, Eddie. You don't want to watch the game. Game Watch is so fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's black. Lots of, lots of his... Uh, Lots of his animations stay out longer than they look. I mean, lots of his hitboxes staying out longer than the animations. Like jab and F-tilt and forward air. He also has, like, really retarded landing hitboxes on some of his moves. Yeah, like the downers. The downer is the big hurdle. Yeah. I hate downers. Because sometimes you can shield down air, and then the bottom hitbox hits you, and then he just starts, like, a 90% string. And you're just like, mm, guess this is Game & Watch. Guess this is not fun. But, honestly, I think Dementio should be able to just run him over. I would agree. I think Dementio is very good. I played him in PM, I mean in Melee, and he's, uh, he's quite, quite the Melee player. He's very tech. Do you think Game Watch? Uh, maybe. It depends the percents and stuff. I know it definitely does not beat Roy's, because Roy's crouch cancel is a lot better than Game Watch's. Um, Meta Knight, not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, actually, uh, Game Watch down tilt beats Royce. No, it doesn't. I asked him that before this morning. Are you sure? Yeah, I can check. Does it beat Meta Knight? I don't know. It definitely, okay. Yeah, I don't think it beats Roy either. Because Roy's CC is better. Much Fire, better. Fire and spam me, I don't want to check it. I'll change the score for you. Roy Midnight is actually a really good matchup. I mean, Roy Game Watch. Roy Game Watch is a really good matchup for Roy. So you can just down tilt, uh, down air spike, and it resets instead of uh, bouncing him. So it, I think it goes until 60? 60 or 70? And it, like, platforms don't really matter. So, yeah, it's, it's really bananas. He's switching to Roy. Possibly. Okay, yeah, he's switching to Roy. He's taking him to Wario Land. Was FD banned? FD must have been banned. Anyone see if FD was banned? Is this 
going in. Like, no patience. Just oiling in. Yeah, he oils up and goes in pretty hard. That was crisp, yeah. I think uh, Thawd is better for Roy in this yeah. matchup. Yeah, I just, I don't like him. I play Roy, like, just FOD is just so good. It's so fun. It's so good. Like, well, like, when you get those half plats and your down air hits underneath, and then you can just F-smash everyone out of it. Yeah, it's quite good. That was pretty that good. Was, that was pretty good, actually. I think he could have F-smashed, but it would, anything, anything kills there. I think Nair is kind of like a noob trap on Roy, a little bit. Because it feels really good, it feels a lot like Marth's, but it's slower, and it doesn't really do as it's much. It's good for covering rolls. It's really good at that. Yeah. Like death chances. Yeah. That's kind of it, though. But like, it does, like, uh, fall off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that up air was... If he got a grab after that, that would have been banana. Those are almost sick like mind games. We have a freeze, we don't know what to do. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. He's going in. Yeah, he's really going in. Yeah, he's dead. That is a dead Roy. This is a very uphill battle, but like, it's not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Uh, a few tech reads and a few forward smashes, and it's pretty much over. Oh, I got the spike. That's where you land on platform and down smash, I'm pretty sure. I don't think, um, Horus has been, uh, up for back air, you know? Because, like, it's usually true, like, the Fox player. That's, yeah. That's kind of a dumb thing. Because, like, up throw back air is just, like... Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good kill. Especially with the reverse hitbox. Alright, I think we're up. Alright, uh, that's 2-0. You don't have to say that. You just put it back to zero. Yeah. It's Dementia versus... I mean, Arca versus Ramsa. Yes. Yeah, I like, wait for them to plug in first. This mouse dude's like... Wow. Paint to your bubble. That's uh, a weird...